Bob Lampkin, it's great to have you out here at your home club today, Santa Luz. Um, new grips for 2018, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna talk a little mm -hmm. bit about sure. what you do out here at Santa Luz, because you like to play golf too. Right. So this has been a major hit, this sonar model, and it's got some, some great technologies and a material. Give me a little info on the sonar grip. Well, I tell you, the uh, the sonar grip has done really well, and and where we think we've we've really touched on a new technology in the category is the Genesis material um, and the fingerprint technology, which is the surface pattern technology that is not only incorporated in sonar, but it's also incorporated in our new TS1 model line and our Comfort Plus model lines. Okay, and. Most of these grips seem to have reduced taper. Is that a trend that you see taking off a little bit now? Well, I'm that, holding it in my hand, and I, I feel that you know it just feels great in the right hand. Right, and what's what this the new the new dimension on shaft of a reduced taper grip? We call it actually the modern size, and this is really originated from the tour with tour players when they take grips and they and they and they put them on their clubs. They're actually ma manipulating the on shaft diameter of the grip. So we had so many requests to build up and have less taper under the lower part of the grip. What we call it is the modern size grip or just a slightly reduced taper. And what we found from what the tour players have asked us, and they've been a great, great, you know, professors for us on tour, is they, they've really understood that the hands work more of a unit um, as opposed to each other when you have a more of a conical shaped grip. So the, the reduced taper actually, actually gets your hands working more together during the golf swing. And they're tour players, they're very sensitive to know how many wraps they want. You've built it into the grip now. What about the average golfer? Let's talk about somebody that's a seven, 10, even a 15 handicapper. Are they even playing the right size grips for their hands, let alone a modern grip or let alone replacing their grip in time? I mean, what do you see as, a, as you're the grip guy? Sure, sure. I think, I think grip size is a question that I get asked more often than any other question of what's the right size for me. And my answer to that is that 50% of a fitting is science and 50% is feel. Because everyone's hands are different, they're different sizes, their palms are larger or smaller, their fingers are, are, are longer or shorter. So, and some people just prefer who would be sized for a male of a standard grip, for whatever reason, just feel more comfortable with an oversized grip. So what I tell people, first of all, is, is go with a standard fitting chart but then really feel back to what you're comfortable with your size of your grip because that's builds confidence and you don't want to have a lack of confidence because the grip doesn't, it feels awkward in your hands. Mm -hmm. So I tell people to, to, to get fit, but then really go with what your gut tells you. Sure, and I've been on the Lampkin Grips website since the very first Lampkin Grips website. That's how long we've been working together, and it's been mm -hmm. a great relationship, but lately, it's amazing the things you can do on there. There's sizing, there's all sorts of additional information, there's tour stuff you can get that you couldn't get for the general public, so kind of a neat deal to go on lampkingrips.com and get all, all set up there. Right, and what we think is it's finally happened is that the, um, the, the grip is now, it's taking, uh, actually, it's getting noticed, if you will. Uh, years ago, as we know, for the for the industry, uh, the technology was centered primarily on on the uh, on the head, and then it came, kind of came up through the shaft. And now people are recognizing the importance of the grip, of regripping your your clubs, and, and having the grip, the proper grip size for you when you're playing. And never, never play with an old grip, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happens with, with your grips is when when they become too worn or slick. It increases grip pressure, and in, in, in the golf grip segment of what we always trying to do and what we feel we've accomplished here with our Genesis material and the fingerprint technology is that we're allowing the players to have a very comfortable, if you will, uh, but secure grip, and what that does is that it, leaves, it alleviates the tension in your forearms and in your hands, and it allows you to actually turn, right? Because if you're, if you're really gripping this thing too hard, you, you're, you're, you're turning up your shoulders, your shoulders are locked in, and you're really not moving freely. So the importance of grip pressure, I think, for all amateur players when they're playing, they should really pay attention to that. And the only connection to the golf club is the grip. Yeah, and it's the most bang for your buck you're going to get is regripping your irons. Let's, right. Let's face it. So thanks, Bob. Appreciate you taking some time with us. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.